And Trumbull County Commissioners are trying to make sure everyone's on the same page when it comes to hiring practices for the county. 27 First News reporter Nadine Grimley joins us live in the studio with what happened to spark that conversation tonight. Well, Dave and Mandy Commissioners and the county's Director of Human Resources met today after a 10-year-old policy was recently broken, causing some concern. Nobody starts until we get a background check back. That's the hiring policy that's been in place for a decade in Trumbull County. And moving forward, that's how it'll be. This after a snafu when the county had an urgent need for custodians and Dwayne Shin was hired at the end of last year. He received some good references from past employees. Due to the urgency of our need, we started him before his background check arrived. Shin passed a drug test and started working on December 18th, cleaning county buildings, which looking back is a big concern for commissioners. Well, you have the courthouse, you have the prosecutor's office that he could be cleaning and there's high information in there. Shin was fired just four days after the new year when the HR department learned of convictions and violations that prevented him from working for a state or local entity. Unfortunately, when his background check arrived, it can say it contained uh, several convictions for what are called disqualifying offenses. This person came back with quite a history um, and the HR department let him go, but I just want to make sure there's safeguards in place. Now, Polifka says he just wants to make sure no one else is pushed through before the background check comes back. Since something similar happened about 10 years ago, he says after today's meeting, though, he's confident that policy won't be broken again. Live in the studio tonight, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.